Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. This problem was given in a Cambridge exam in the year 1801. Evaluate the following alternating series. The first term is 1 divided by 1 multiplied by 3. Then we subtract 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 4. Then we add 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 5. Then we subtract 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 6 and the pattern continues indefinitely. What is the value of this sum? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To evaluate this sum, we will first notice a pattern in each of the terms. Each of the terms has the form of 1 divided by n multiplied by n plus 2. We will further simplify this fraction into its partial fraction decomposition. This fraction will be equal to some number divided by n plus another number divided by n plus 2. We need to solve for the values of a and b. To do that, we'll multiply both sides of this equation by n multiplied by n plus 2. We will then distribute this. In the first term, the n terms will cancel out. In the second term, the n plus 2s will cancel out. We will now distribute the a, and then we will group the n's. So we have 1 is equal to 2a, plus n multiplied by a plus b. Notice that 1 is equal to 1 plus n times 0. We will now equate the constant coefficients. We need 2a to be equal to 1, which means a is equal to 1 half. We will now equate the coefficients on n. We want a plus b to be equal to 0, but we know that a is equal to 1 half, therefore b is equal to negative 1 half. We've now solved for the values of a and b, so let's substitute them in. We will further simplify that negative 1 half, we can just subtract the second term and make it 1 half divided by n plus 2. With our partial fraction decomposition, we can proceed. We will now solve the problem. Let's take the partial sum up to k terms where k is greater than 4. We will then use the partial fraction decomposition on each term. So the first term will become 1 half over 1 minus 1 half over 3. We'll use the partial fraction decomposition for the second term, but we need to subtract. So in this case, the signs will be reversed. We need to subtract 1 half over 2 and then add 1 half over 4. We'll continue substituting for each of the terms in this alternating series. We'll make one more step that we will substitute for the k minus 1 term. We now substitute in for the final term. This looks very complicated, but it will all magically simplify. Notice that this negative 1 half over 3 and this plus 1 half over 3 will cancel out. Then if we advance by two terms, we will see that 1 half over 4 and negative 1 half over 4 will cancel out. Again, if we advance by two terms, these two terms will cancel out. And this will actually happen as we advance two terms in all of these terms in the middle part of the series. These terms will also cancel out, and these terms will also cancel out. We only have the top two terms with denominators of k plus 1 and k plus 2 which will survive. This type of series, where we have only the very beginning and the very end survive, is known as a telescoping series, and it's similar to how the tubes of a retracting telescope will collapse upon themselves. So all of these terms will vanish, and just these four terms will remain. From here, let's consider the behavior as k goes to infinity. In this term, as k goes to infinity, the denominator will get larger and larger so the term will eventually go to zero. The same thing is true for this term here. As k goes to infinity, this term will go to zero. 
So the limit as k goes to infinity of this sum will be equal to 1 half over 1 minus 1 half over 2 minus 0 minus 0. Therefore, the final two terms will vanish, and we just have 1 half over 1 minus 1 half over 2, which is equal to 1 half minus 1 over 4, and that's equal to 1 over 4. And that's the answer. What an interesting alternating series. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.